Hello everyone, my name is Solbert and welcome back to another Warranty Studios video and in this one I'll be answering this question Is it possible to use Miku Miku Dance with our computer? So is Miku Miku Dance also for Android or iOS? Well, no, but there are substitutes for it. One was Pocket MQ, but as that app is no longer available because it just vanished with no trace, we will be using our app that has the potential of becoming the next MD Android substitute. About iOS, I could not find any information as I do not own an iPhone or iPad, so I will be mostly talking about Android. So what is the name of this app? MD Agent something. What is so special about this app? Well, it can load MD stages, models, motions, and well, can do almost everything except one thing, anime. There is a mode where you can move the bones, but I couldn't get it to work, maybe you need a bigger screen, but this is already a 7, or excuse me, a 5.7 inch screen. So maybe a tablet can do it? Again, I do not have the equipment tested out. As I almost for forgot, I need to present the device I'll be testing this on, so you can do a little bit of Person. This is my Motorola G6 Play. It has an octa-core processor and 3GB of RAM. I won't get too technical with it as I know some of you get dizzy when I start talking about tech, but for those of you who want to know more, it is the high-end version of the G6 Play. The one with all the bells and whistles. You can get the app on Google Play or Play Store, depends on how you want to call it. And what it can do? A lot of stuff. This is almost a fully fledged working MD copy running on Android. This app, as I already said, has a bunch of functionalities. You can load models, stages, motions, and camera motion. Basically, it's MD on Android, right? Well, no. Even though it has this function, it doesn't have the most important one, which is actual animation making. While well, the program has the necessary functions to make, to make animation, it has the register, the timeline, and the axis movement handle. Then why can't you make something in it? The main problem is that the handle doesn't work, but while I tried to, ca to capture my screen, I tried multiple apps, but not a single one satisfied me because it did not show the true performance of the app. While trying to endure and remotely controlling my phone, I tried moving the handle and it worked, so maybe with the bleeding mouse this would be possible? But there is another obstacle. The actual render button doesn't work, or yeah, the rendering doesn't work. Every time. Because once I got it to work, once not. When I try to render something, the app simply crashes, and I don't know why. Who knows, maybe it's because the app is so old and it needs an update. I mean, the Android version that my phone is running on is quite new for such an old app. It was last updated all the way back in 2016, or there must be some sort of compatibility issue with my phone. Anyways, moving on. Now that we are done with all the app-related issues, let's, let's talk about the thing that bugs me the most. Those are smartphones, and as everyone knows, they get pretty hot because they are so thin. During the 10 minute recording that I have done shooking the app, my phone got to around 45 40 degrees and wanted to go further, but I stopped using the app. Now, in the best situation, you have some sort of phone that has cooling pipes or even better, a fan, and you could get away with some overheating. Still, I do not know how many of you saw this, or I don't even know if the video allows it to. But once everything was loaded in, the frame rate started suffering, getting small lag spikes. Yes, I know this is a budget smartphone, but we need to realize that smartphones will never outperform PCs or even laptops. For example, a $1,000 iPhone will never outperform a $1,000 computer. And the big reason why is that computers have more space for cooling and can dissipate heat much faster and more efficient. Heat is the biggest enemy of all electronics. And then, what you can do with this app? And can you use MD without a computer? 
Well, the only scenario where I can see this app being used is testing motions and making screenshot. Because, yes, screenshots totally work, and even though you cannot find the pictures in your gallery, gallery and in the app system folders, it totally works. I'm pretty sure you can, you can tinker something out of this. If you want to give MD a try and cannot wait to until you get a proper PC, try it first with screenshots. This is what a lot of people do, by the way. About that scenario I was talking about later. Imagine you're away from your computer and you want to plan your next video and you want to see if the person you're doing a collab with did a good job at animating his part of the video. This would be the best app to use. But can you use MD without a computer? I'm going to have to say no. Even if the render function would work, overall using a phone or tablet is a major drawback. And plus, you would have to carry a mouse and keep your phone charging all the time if you want to work multiple hours. And let's be serious. Everyone hates it when you have to charge your phone in the middle of the day and get away from social media. And even if you could get away from Facebook and all the others, I still say no. Maybe one day when I'll have the space and resources, I'll do a budget PC build centered around MMD. But for now, you can only expect the mini minimum and recommended system requirements video, which I really want to make someday. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, smash the like button, and of course, if you want to make me happy, remember that subscribing is free. I was Albert from Winty Studios, thank you for watching. Bye!